What can I do with this one, Aphrodite? She won't stay I want to make them beautiful, but they always turn out wrong. That was too fat. This was too tall. This was too symmetrical. And now, what's this guy? Dr. J.S. Steinman is one of the most disturbingly dedicated men that Jack will meet during the events of the game Bioshock. A gifted plastic surgeon turned atom obsessed lunatic, Steinman has dedicated his life to the pursuit of beauty, a subjective ideal that would often take the life of his patients as he tried to achieve it. In the depths of Rapture's medical pavilion, Steinman would commune with the Greek goddess Aphrodite, a hallucination that would only become more prevalent as his sanity continued to deteriorate. Aphrodite is walking the halls, shimmering like a scalpel. Steinman, she calls. Steinman, I have what you're looking for. Just open your eyes, and when I see her... The story of J.S. Steinman as we know it begins on the surface at a medical college located in New York City. It would be here that Steinman would gain a reputation as an excessively skilled medical practitioner from a young age, studying in the field of orthopedics before finding his true calling in reconstructive plastic surgery. Colleagues of the young doctor would call him a magician a true visionary whose techniques were revolutionizing the reconstructive field. And it would be these glowing recommendations that would draw the curious eye of Andrew Ryan. Ryan would approach the accomplished surgeon with an invitation, come to his new city of rapture, free himself from the shackles of the modern world, and become a link in his ever-moving great chain of industry. This proposition would excite Steinman, to be able to pursue his craft without the ever-judging eyes of the medical community's toy morality was something that he longed for. And so, in the dead of night, giving no notice to his colleagues or employers, Steinman would venture to Ryan's visionary city, determined to push the limits of reconstructive change. While in Rapture, Steinman's field would flourish. Everyone would talk about his impeccable skills with a scalpel, but as he began to implement Adam into his renovations, the possibilities for change began to seem limitless. Adam allowed Steinman the complete freedom to rewrite genetic material, to alter his patients' bodies beyond the bounds thought possible by science. Changes beyond what may even seem ethical to those on the surface. But in Rapture, this paradise of industry, the only limitations were those of his imagination. There, but, but could we really change anything? No, but Adam gives us the means to do it. And Ryan frees us from the phony ethics that held us back. Change your look, change your sex, change your race. It's yours to change. Steinman's practice would become the standard of beauty in Rapture. He could mold a person into something completely unrecognizable with the use of Adam, turn the hideous into the glamorous if only they had the money to pay for the operation. But as Adam began to change from a tool for the talented doctor into an addiction, his mind would begin to wander beyond the bounds of what societal beauty truly was. He could mold a person into perfection, or at least what had been deemed as perfection. But was there nothing more that could be done? This thought would begin to consume him, and as the Atom drove him further and further away from his sanity, he would begin to envision himself having meetings with the Greek goddess of beauty herself, Aphrodite with a consensus from these communes being that symmetry was a hurdle on the path of perfection that needed to be overcome. Two ears, two eyes, two arms, nature had determined these laws of standards, but what if true beauty was found beyond them? Kind of beauty? I asked her, what do you mean, goddess? Symmetry, dear Steinman. It's time we did something about symmetry. 
And so Steinman would begin experimenting with the patients who would come to see him, taking procedures far beyond what they were meant to be in the pursuit of finding the perfection that his hallucination of Aphrodite assured him was just around the next corner. J.S. Steinman is one of the many talented and interesting men that Jack will meet during his adventures in Rapture. A brilliant cosmetic surgeon completely obsessed with the idea of beauty and improvement. Steinman would play an invaluable role in the culture of this submerged city, having surely worked his magic with a scalpel on many of the elites within it. And while, if he'd stayed on the surface, he may have become one of the most influential doctors the world had ever known, in Rapture, his addictions and obsessions would turn him into just another raving lunatic who's lost his grip on reality. What's this goddess? An intruder! He's ugly! 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 